Sorry for the delay in getting this out, but I wanted to include some of the latest GPBR news, which was not going to be announced until the annual meeting. Elections are over and the results are in. Those elected to your board of directors were Pat Deary, Kim Dries, Charles Krasner, Tamara Smith, Chris Van Bell, Chase Wakefield, and Krista Rozier, who's your 2021 affiliate director. Also joining your 2021 board of directors will be Anne Marie DeRozier as president of the Harper Woods Gross Point chapter, Gino Tazi, president of the Macomb chapter, and Tom Katzian, who is an NAR director. Also, at a meeting of your board of directors, by unanimous consent, the following were selected as your 2021 officers. Chase Wakefield, Secretary, Pat Deary, Treasurer, and Chris Van Bell, President-Elect. Congratulations to this great leadership team, which will be joining Alexis DeLuca as President and Jim Addison as our Vice President. At the meeting, the following appointments to our chapters were also approved. Kathy Furlong to the Macomb Board of Regents and Marcia Zeller to the Harper Woods Gross Point Board of Regents. At the meeting, Carol Borden, founder of Guardian Angel Medical Service Dogs, announced the completion of our funding for Harper and thanked Doug Hardy of Suth Signature Sotheby's for his generous participation. She also wanted to let us know that we have started funding for a dog named Barker, named for Judy Barker, our friend and past president who recently passed away. Judy was also a huge fan of Guardian Angel Medical Service Dogs and had visited their facility in Florida where she met Carol. More on that effort will be coming out shortly, so please stay tuned. One of the networking topics that was discussed before and after the annual meeting was the market and that the press of business as we see it is now likely to continue through the end of the year and into next. It was also observed that by the middle of this month of 2020, we will have closed as much business as closed all last year and that it is likely, to, is likely by the end of the year we will close over $4 trillion in mortgages, which is a trillion more than last year. That's incredible. By the way, for those of you who have never experienced a market like this, remember, real estate is a make hay while the sun shines industry. So keep up the hard work. It will eventually end. Announcements. President-elect Alexis DeLuca has asked that those interested in getting involved in the affairs of the association contact her or let me know at the board office. Next week is a broker owner meeting at which we will talk about what is happening primarily in Macomb County, featuring information on the Blue Economy Initiative. For those who do business in Macomb, this is a must attend meeting. While it says broker owner, by the way, others are welcome to attend in their broker owner's place. Rounding out the year is the installation of officers, directors and regents for 2021. We are still working out the details on this, but we do know it's not going to be a live event. Additionally, as we approach what is called the holiday season, remember to stay safe. We are hearing about an increase in COVID-19 cases with some of our members likely spending what would normally be a festive time instead in the hospital. Finally, remember to be productive, successful, and profitable. See you next week.